What's up? My name is Coach Luca. I am a teacher of strength. We're here at the Kettlebell Club and you're watching Hardstyle Kettlebell Pro. What I'd like for you to do now is like and subscribe to my channel so you could keep getting awesome content. Kettlebell Simple and Sinister by Pavel is a basic and classic program. It's really meant to give you amazing results while keeping the training minimalist. You've got the kettlebell swing, two arm swing, one arm swing, and the get up. A very common mistake people make when they first start the program is to compress the time periods. They read the book once and they think they have to perform 100 swings in five minutes and 10 get ups in 10 minutes each and every training session. This is a mistake. Trying to crunch the time and performing 100 swings in five minutes and 10 get ups in 10 minutes is a test. And this should be performed infrequently only when you reach a certain level of strength. When I first started the program many years ago, I did the same thing. I tried to fit in 100 reps within five minutes. So I was doing 10 swings every 30 seconds, each and every training session. What happened was this, I hit a plateau very quickly and I felt burnt out after just a few weeks of doing the program. This may happen to you. What you wanna do is you wanna have the timeless approach, meaning there is no time. Rather than compressing the time, take your time. Make sure you keep the quality of your exercises really, really high. Make sure to mind the following stop signs. Stop if your rep speed slows down or rest more. Stop if your technique changes in any way. Rest more if your rate of perceived exertion exceeds an eight on a scale from one to 10. Rest more if you're out of breath before your next set. Adjust the rest and the reps and make sure that none of the above don't happen. In the revised edition of Kettlebell Simple and Sinister, Pavel talks about the timeless approach. So you wanna be doing your swings timeless until you reach a certain point in strength. As mentioned, when you're starting simple and sinister, have the timeless approach. Do not compress your time periods, no matter what, until you get strong. When should you test? You wanna test until you reach a certain point in your weights. For men, test when you reach 40 kilos on the swing and the get up. For ladies, test when you reach 28 kilos in the swing and 20 kilos in the get up. You're not gonna be testing with those weights, but you test using a weight below the current one. So if you reach 40 kilos, you're gonna test for the simple standards with 32. For women, for the swing, you're gonna drop a bell size and test with a 24 for the swing. And for the get up, you're gonna test one bell below the 20, which is the 16. Why test? with a kettlebell below your current weight. Because a test should be challenging, yet you should have conquered that weight previously. That's a simple and sinister approach. If you want more details on the progression of the weights, read the book. But remember, do not compress the time period right away until you get strong. 